if you're on the, I've got two channels on here and then a multi-channel which I share with some other people. Now, the other person that I share the other channel with, who is an auditor, who <coughs> does podcasts and everything like that, has put, not naming me or not naming schools or not naming details, but has put this on his channel tonight. Now, he has an open channel where people can um, comment and all the rest of it underneath it. That's how that channel works. He also has email address, contact numbers, and all the rest of it, live phone-ins and everything else. I'm not going to name him. Now, <clears throat> he's uh, WhatsApp me tonight, and basically he's put the outline of this on his channel tonight on YouTube, which is shared on his uh, Instagram and Facebook. He's quite prepared on Friday, if I name this, is to jump onto his channel on a live phone-in and discuss it live on his channel on Friday night after I've uploaded and named these people. Now, the comments that he's received on his channel tonight have been very supportive of my situation, which I very much appreciate you. So everybody that's that subscribed to that and jumps on here and watches these and all the rest of it, thank you very much. Now, what I've been told to do, what I've been advised to do, and I've already been advised to that, but although I haven't mentioned it today, I've roundabout mentioned it. Now, I have been in touch with the school by email this morning and asked from my solicitor with regard to the complaints procedure to make a formal complaint to them with regards to this incident. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing which I'm going to discuss now is quickly is I will be asking for a vote of no confidence on the headmistress of that school. That is what I will be putting in place. I will be approaching, in writing, to the governors of the school, a vote of no confidence on the headmistress, the leadership of that school. With the evidence that I've obtained, I have also been advised to email Ofsted again with my vote of no confidence against this head, with my evidence. I will be next week at some point if the outcome of this is not going to come, if the outcome of this is not going to safeguard children in the future under that premises, I will be contacting off. I may be contact may, I may be contacting Ofsted and formally put in a vote of non, no confidence against the headmistress. I will be putting that into the governors. I will be contacting parents at that school. When that school is named, that will be shared on every public platform that I can share it on. Facebook, my other channel, <coughs> we'll be naming them. My friend's channel, he's got over 50, 50 we've got over 50 subscribe 50,000 subscribers on that channel he's got. There's also another public platform that he deals with that's got over 300,000 subscribers on. Not going to name you. I'm sure people have subscribed to his channel. He's a very well-known bloke. So what we will be doing, at some point, I'll be getting in touch with him. I'll be emailing him, sending him an email or a message and asking him when he's going to be doing his next phoning. I will be phoning him. He is a friend of mine. He doesn't live too far away. I will be phoning his channel. I will not name the school. I will not give my children's name or my name. But I will discuss this openly on his channel on a live phone in at some point in the next few days. I'm assuming it's, I think he goes live to on a Friday night. If that's the case, I will be phoning in on this channel, arranging to contact him tomorrow night. Local guy, local, knows the score, knows everything. Let's get this, I'm going to get a vote of no confidence against her. I think this has gone on far too long. I know enough now uh, with the evidence I've got and with this, I have enough now to prove a vote of no confidence. I will, when I get the complaints procedure, as soon as I get that, I will follow that to the letter with advice from my solicitor. I will put in writing a formal complaint of no confidence with regards to this headmistress. I will produce the, the evidence of the vote of no confidence. I will state my case to them. At the end of the day, you lead by example. She's, there's no example being set to other members of staff. Um, anybody, anybody who wants to help me on this one or the vote of no confidence, if you've had problems 
Be aware that that's what's going to be going in. I'd like to see her removed from her position now. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get apologies off them. They're going to try and brush it under the carpet. I want it going all the way down the line. I will. I've also been told to ring the police. I will. It's like I was told. Somebody's messaged me tonight and said, "Look, they're they're not slow on ringing the police on you. Ring the police on them. They're they're not happy with my social media platform. Ring the police on them." They've broken the social media rules. I've not broken any rules. All been investigated. So we're gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this weekend, get over this weekend. Next week, I'm going to slam some videos on here. I'm going to name the school on Friday night if I'm not, not happy with it. As soon as I get the complaints procedure, then I'm going to pour in a vote of no confidence. As advised to by a general public, I'm going to talk it through with everybody I can talk it through. Um... I'm contemplating going to the police. I may go to the police. I'd like that to be investigated. They've done the same to me. I'm going to name the incident when they set the police on me with regards to what the police came to see me about and what they investigated, what they said they didn't like on social media. Okay, let's get this done. A vote of no confidence. Any parents out there that know this, this, this or what the situation is, and I'm sure there is, Email me, message me, post me a letter, do whatever you want to do. If you're on the other channel, that's open. You can contact me through that one. You have a lot of people that's on the other channel. Contact me through that one. Let's get a vote of no confidence in. Let's get Ofsted. Email Ofsted. Put in that vote of no confidence. This is a breach, a safeguarding, serious breach. What she should, she should be responsible for. She will try and pass the book. That's the way that this person works. Vote of no confident, guys. Let's have her removed. Let's sort this out. Let's get that peep, that score back safe. I'm not having it. It's not acceptable. They're not going to do this to me and get away with it, right? They've hammered me with the police with my social media platform. I'm, <coughs> I'm sure over the next few days they're going to try it again. I'm prepared for that. My solicitor's prepared for that. My legal team's prepared for that. I don't mind. You can arrest me. I will give a statement. On, I will go in and give an interview to the police. I will name everybody on that interview. I will name every, everything I know. I will speak on that interview, everything I know. Or every single thing that I know, I will say on that interview, whether it takes me 24 hours to record it. I'm quite prepared to fight this to the end. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. So there's a vote of no confidence going in. Keep them messages coming in on the other channel. If you've been messaging my buddy on that one, great. Thank you so much for your support. God bless everybody. And we will speak soon. I'm ranting and I'm sorry, but I'm just so annoyed with all this. It's shameful. It's disrespectful. It's shameful. The openly putting those children at risk. She needs to be responsible. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody said the same thing. You lead by example. If you have a problem with the police, an officer at Nottinghamshire Police, you get in touch with them and they deal with it. The sergeants deal with it. The authorities deal with it. <coughs> at the moment in time, we all know what the police is going through. There's a lot of police officers out there that's been brought up for misconduct, lying and all the rest of it. They're being brought to book for their, you know, accountable, accountable for what they've done. Education authorities need to be as too. I'm going to do everything within my power on social media, I'm going to get in touch with Ofsted and everybody to make sure that these academies and these trusts are run in a professional manner. They are extortionate wages that these, that these CEOs are getting. Some as high as a half a million pounds a year. A half a million. Google Academy CEOs. It's all over Google. You can find out what your school CEOs are earning per year and what the staff is earning at that school. It's unacceptable. It's an obscene amount of money. Some of them are getting paid more than surgeons and firemen and policemen. and It's just ridiculous. The teachers at these academies are getting low, lower than, than the, what the authority government run schools are getting. They are taking the piss. The checks, they're not doing all the proper DBS checks. They're not checking the staff. Another thing what a parent said to me uh, on the other channel, which is very, very justified tonight, and it's another thing that I want looking into, and I know that they don't do this. 
a lot of these academies and a lot of these trusts are getting parents coming into the school and reading to children. They're getting parents attending, helping on trips. Are they DBS checked? Are your children going on trips with somebody who's been, who has a criminal record? Okay. Again, there is parents going into that school with criminal records for violence and everything else and been to prison. Are they being phoned 999 on them for picking the children up? Are they aware of it? All these comments that I've received and we've received tonight are very, very justified. How far or at what point do they cut off the safety of our children? At what point? <coughs> if they have got people going on trips, we need to know that our children are safe. Not just people, parents saying, yeah, I'll come with you. We don't know who them parents are. And if they're accepting people into their school, working under their banner with a tight DBS check and not looking at the full picture, they're not even looking at the picture of these parents and helpers and volunteers. They also need to be looked at, right? That will also be put on my email to Ofsted. God bless everybody. Vote to no confidence. I'll get that complaints form. I'll do it the proper way, step by step. And then we'll see what the outcome of that is. Let's bang in that vote to no confidence with the evidence that I've got. And let's have this person removed. The previous headmistress, well, I'm not going to comment or make a comment on that. No comment on that. But I know the facts of that. I know the facts of everything. I know. Are the cleaners, the staff, and everybody DBS checked? Are these DBS checks thorough? Are the parents, volunteers, DBS checked, scrutinized? Now, it's all right saying, well, but let's, let's just remember this. I know parents. Personally, I know the names, and I've checked them on Google, that go into that school, picking children up, that's been done for violent offences against women. That's been taken to court. I know one lad who's been taken to court on harassment against his ex-partner. Breaking his ex-partner's windows. Right? It's all on Google. And picking his daughter up from that school. Do they allow... Do they phone 999 on him? I haven't got a criminal record. These people have. This needs to be looked at. God bless. I've been a ranting day. You know where I'm like? I go off on one. I'm on one. Not going to give up. Let's see how they deal with this. I want that vote of no confidence going in, and that's it. God bless everybody.